Hi friends. So uh, if you have not subscribed, do so. This channel will help you with cloud certifications. But we are also talking about a lot of knowledge sharing here uh, in different worlds, cloud world, AI world, generative AI world, and so on. So whatever is relevant in today's market, we are doing that. Keeping that in mind, you have see three data formats, which is important to discuss three data formats. And these get asked in the questions, uh, interviews, iceberg format, hoodie format and delta lake. These are the three formats which we should be aware of. See, normally when you go to the legacy team and say you share your data, they do it in uh, .csv format. So the normal your text file .csv format. The next thing we know is, uh, can you tell me which format is more efficient? Is CSV more most efficient? What is your thought? Is CSV most efficient? No. See, nowadays, Parquet we use a lot. Why? Because all of the systems, right now, whatever we are dealing with, whether you interact with some complicated analytics systems like Tableau, Power BI, or uh, uh, some modern databases like Snowflake, etc. Everybody is talking about one thing. What is that thing? First, what is that thing? In memory, in memory processing, in memory, in memory, in memory processing. What does it do? They store the data, a lot of data in memory so that you get the performance. <clears throat> now, if someone is doing that, won't they want to store as much data as possible in memory? Yes. Will CSV file allow you to do that? No. What will allow? Parquet. How? Parquet is already a compressed file. It stores data in compressed format. So suppose in uh, 1 MB of storage, you are storing, uh, say, 10 million records in 1 MB. If you use Parquet format, you may store 100 million that is that is how it works one is to 10 ratio almost so that means more it, the data is taking less space see it's just consider you are uh, in a car <coughs> small car okay like uh, uh, maruti alto a small car now a fat person a, a six six foot four inch fat guy will uh, or sorry not to say fat but I'm sorry for that, a horizontally challenged guy, now he sits in it. It will be very difficult because uh, uh, now what we say is, okay, uh, I, I I have a Honda CRV now. I, I tell him to sit there. Uh, he sits in one seat. Okay, he probably he sits in the behind and uh, he, the, the instead of two people, <coughs> one person is sitting now. But the same thing, if I have a thin guy, uh, I say, uh, 65 kg thin guy um, maybe i can squeeze three guys in that seat <laughs> so that means my in in memory processing is fast because now instead of one horizontally challenged guy three uh, thin guys are sitting there now you might ask uh, boss uh, the fat guy you are saying horizontally challenged thin guy you are not saying horizontally challenged thin guy normal guy normal guy means normal weight guy okay so the people who are exceptional we use such terms people who are normal we use this normal terms okay yeah if you feel bad go to the gym okay don't crib here you go to the gym if you feel bad now the thing is uh the we, we know that we want to save space we, we want to the compute load should be minimized so that more data can be computed in less time and etc so keeping that in mind cap that in mind we have iceberg hoodie and delta lake format so one thing you should remember is see these are all new formats a lot of time, you know, when I went into the in the earlier days, uh, six, seven years back, when I went uh, into one project, we had to work in uh, using Cassandra database, Mongo database. So those guys, the acid, comp uh, acid transactions were complex there. We had so many different things. Immediately you will insert and commit, you will not see the data immediately and so many things. So iceberg is I acid transaction means it can um, <clears throat> the moment you fire insert you uh, you will see the data there okay both all all three support that partition evolution only iceberg support only in you know, iceberg you can uh, create partitions uh, same schema evolution also partially hoodie supports but one thing important is time travel time travel means point in time anytime in the uh, past you can go and see your 10 year old self see your 15 year old self you can go back in the past and see that is point in time at that time what how was this guy how did it look what did he think what did he eat you can see everything 
that is called time travel in terms of data what was the state of data today the uh, data is looking uh, this way but I mean, today the suppose for example today this guy is uh, staying in malabar hills but was he uh, staying in malabar hills point in time back uh, was he staying where was he staying he was staying in malad he was staying in uh, chandivali and so on so that that is time travel that is supported by all three there is very great thing this is supported by all three by uh, adding column dropping column renaming a column the problem is with delta lake but uh, iceberg and hoodie supports all reordering columns uh, only uh, hoodie does not support rest all support see one thing very important with the advent of these technologies you know these data formats was listen to me because this is a very important piece why do we have these formats so that we can use interaction with these systems a lot sonar Presto, Trino, Athena. Why? Because the world is moving towards data federation, data federation solutions. What it means that you don't have to migrate the data every time. You, so it's like you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of companies. If you are in TCS, Wipro, Infosys, or whatever, uh, uh, you will always say, "I want to go to US. Uh, uh, please give me H1." So what they are saying is, "Boss, you never, you will never go to US because you can work from wherever you are." Because data is data, uh, we don't migrate data. We would federate the data. Data will sit sit wherever it is. So you sit wherever you are, and uh, you can work from there remotely using computers, networks, and etc. That's what they have done in so many years. When I started my career, uh, in order to serve clients, we have to go to US. In in uh, uh, you know uh, mid 90s, we had to go to US. <clears throat> so anybody who wants to serve the client and gain traction there, more business, you have to be in US. Now it has happened that. Uh, 10% team is in US, 90% team is in offshore working. So that way, uh, in, even though the Indian salaries have uh, increased uh, like uh, 20, 30 times, so when I compare uh, with 1995, 96, 97, but uh, uh, the thing has happened is the onshore opportunities have reduced. So that is that is what we see. So here also, data we are saying you don't migrate the data. A migration is very costly. Uh, migration usually takes uh, four five months, and no no client wants to do that. So we are, we are saying we'll use solutions. We will use solutions like Dreamio and it will pull the data from wherever it is. Plus it can marry the data also. The problem with federation was earlier, if you pull data from person A, then match it with person B, it does not match. Now you can do it in the same, the systems will allow you to join one data source to other data source and so on. You can also join structured data source to unstructured data source and those things are also possible. So that is the scope of this one. Okay. Now, if you see the next thing, uh, with these technologies, we have to use a lot of uh, data processing. Impala we use. So, Impala can read write uh, Apache technology. These are all talking about Apache technology. See, in my projects, we have seen we don't use a lot of Apache technologies at this point. I mean, most of the engagements I have worked uh, hardly in one or two I have used. But uh, uh, Redshift Spectrum, see, uh, this is this is uh, again a federation solution. Federation solution means it's an external table kind of a solution. You have data in Redshift, but using Redshift spectrum, if your data is in CSV file, you don't have to migrate it. You can just refer it. So that is the problem. So there you can use these formats, very useful. But uh, only these two guys allow to read. Uh, but uh, if you see, Iceberg will not allow you to uh, in Iceberg format. You cannot read from spectrum. So like that, there are a lot of ifs and buts. But one year down the line, maybe everything would be good everything would be green tick for all these formats one year down the line it may happen but today it is this way see most important thing boss listen to me most important thing parquet format does it all three formats support you see this and that is the best thing we want parquet because it is compressed file format and this is supported everywhere uh, uh, avro over c we are not too much worried if we have parquet we, are, we can still be good to go so here we uh, discussed the three important data formats in the modernization space nowadays if you see most of the clients are modernizing their applications they are going into technologies like in cloud uh, around cloud a lot of them are moving their data or modernizing their data warehouse solution lake house solution. they're going to lake house like snowflake or uh, aws uh, redshift synapse etc but snowflake is very very popular uh, but cloud technologies also they are using <coughs> so there this thing will be useful and then new technologies like uh, Fivetran is very useful. Fivetran for uh, extraction, it has n number of connectors. I'll make a video on that also. But Fivetran is something you should use in your projects for data migration if you are planning to 
you know move uh, high volume high volume means billion billion not million billion records you have to move 10 billion 100 billion it is very useful there okay boss if you are not yet subscribed <coughs> please subscribe it will help you with the cloud journey it will help you with latest of the technologies around uh, cloud generative ai and so on stay tuned and if you have not become a member of cloud kernel or cloud ninja member you can just join that channel for a very small premium you can become a member lot of informative content is getting posted there as well